Sometime during your flying career, you may find yourself about to pilot an aircraft you know nothing about. So how do you know that it's safe to fly? Well, the AOP Foundation recently received a Cessna 182 as a donation, and two of our pilots went out to Driggs, Idaho to bring it back to Frederick. Warren Morningstar reports on the very thorough pre-flight before launching across the Rockies and the Plains. Our first view of 55 Sierra is as we walk out the FBO door. And for a 52-year-old airplane, she looks mighty good. But you can't judge an airplane by its paint. Well, the first thing that we want to do is to inspect the logbooks and make sure that uh, the annual is up to date and look for any other uh, discrepancies or repairs that have been done to the airplane in its history. And we find a very complete history on 55 Sierra. Maintenance logs, a list of ADs, inspection records. Tells you the guy's pretty thorough. Mike's record examination turns up one thing that could be a concern. Well, when I looked through the log books, there was evidence of a, uh, of a, a possible prop strike. There was uh, damage to the right wing. And, and but more research satisfies Mike. So I started digging in the log books and, and discovered that, yes, in fact, there was a prop strike in um, November of 2002. And the prop was replaced. The engine was completely re rebuilt, overhauled, and the skin damage was all repaired. The FBO says the aircraft has been flying regularly. That's uh, also a good sign. It has been the hangar queen sitting in a hangar for months without being flown. Next step, a very thorough pre-flight. Just checking the main landing gear strut. Oh. Brake lines leading to the brake assembly. Condition of the brake, pucks and disc. Just antennas looking for the condition of the beacon, make sure that the lens itself is not cracked. Just checking the condition of the fuselage, looking for any damage, ripples in the skin that would indicate uh, G stress loading. Nice and clear, no debris, no water. Blue in color, smells like avgas. Just inspecting the main landing gear and the cowl flaps while I'm under here. Looking for damage again. Tire's in great shape. Looks like it's properly inflated. Yeah, it looks like we've got plenty of oil and it's uh, nice and clean. One of the concerns with this airplane is the filler caps. The original filler caps on these 182s were prone to leakage and uh, water contamination of the fuel. This particular airplane's got been outfitted with the newer vented caps that are leak proof. Well, of all the airplanes I've looked at, this is this one has the probably the most meticulous and well well uh, kept uh, maintenance logs I've ever seen. And the exterior looks good, the interior looks good. I think we have a good airplane here. And Mike keeps a careful eye on the engine gauges as we taxi out. One last concession to flying an unknown aircraft, we're going to fly the valleys and the highways until we're sure everything is copacetic. Warren Morningstar, AOPA Live.